when I bring fabrics home, the very first thing I do is put them in the laundry. I often will go downstairs and run them through my serger, the cut edges, so that they don't ravel so much. If you don't have a serger, you don't have to do this step, but if for me, I think I would just run it through your sewing machine, just a straight stitch all the way across the cut edge, and it will at least keep it from raveling so much. You, it might be when you take it out, you've got a lot of strings rolled around. You just cut them and that'll be okay. Um, but after it comes out of the washing machine and the dryer, if you're going to dry it, then you've lost the fold that it came, and you might be confused about which way uh, is the straight of grain or running along the selvages. So that's where, you, again, you're going to look for the, the edges that are finished, not the cut edges. And the cut, the edges that were more finished and not ravelly and not cut, that's your selvage. All right, I'm going to step back here for a minute. And, and what you're going to do is you want to fold those together generally. You're generally going to cut things out on a fold. All right, so I'm going to try to get those lined up. This will just be for a woven, okay? And I'm going to line up about what I can hold out in front of me. Well, I, I did a pretty good job. Down there at the bottom, what you want to look for is to see if there's any fold. I'm going to, I'm going to do it wrong so that you can see what it might look like if I had just picked it up and it wasn't looking so good. This is a little confusing because it's a, pl a plaid and sometimes that... Okay, can you see at the bottom that the fold is not hanging very straight? It's kind of rumpled. So you just move one of the fabrics, like the one closest to you, left or right until that looks real straight to you, okay? And when you get that, you can lay it down on the table that you're cutting on. Okay, and keep it there. I kind of lay it down. Then you can just lightly stretch it out, and then you would want to check again at this fold to make sure that it's not rippled in any way. And then you're fairly sure that you've got a straight of grain. Let's talk about grain lines for a minute. Again, what runs along the selvage, parallel to the selvage, is called the straight grain. Perpendicular to that, at 90 degrees, is a cross grain. The last grain we would talk about is a bias. Now, technically, bias is any grain that's off of straight or cross grain. But if you're laying out a pattern piece, you probably are going to mostly want it at 45 degrees. Some rulers have a 45 degree mark that you can lay your pattern piece on. Some pattern pieces will want you to lay the pattern piece on the bias. And let's talk about why that might be. The straight of grain, which again is running along the selvages in a woven, is very tight. Okay, it has no give, uh, so it's going to be very stable. I might, or maybe slight give, but not very much give, and that makes it a very stable and uh, fabric to use. Like say, if you're making a garment and it's hanging down, it'll hang straight. It won't hang out funny. It'll it just will perform really well. So again. This is our uh, lengthwise grain and crosswise grain. And on this plaid, it's pretty easy to see that a 45 degree would be going across the plaids. And I'm going to pick it up and show you if there's quite a lot of stretch in the bias grain. You'll find that you, uh, bias piece, pattern pieces might be a collar that w you, know, you want to roll back. Um, sometimes um, bias cut dresses hang really prettily. I'll show you that too. Um, and we'll talk about this in just a minute. We're talking about choosing a fabric. Um, here's the lengthwise grain. One thing you can do in a fabric store is to pick it up somewhere and have it drape like this and see how it drapes. This one actually drapes kind of nicely. It's got some um, structure to it, but you can see that it falls. And that would, um, that would be important if you were looking for something real flowy. Let me show you a way that you might do it at the fabric store. Okay, I'm at the fabric store and I want to see how this drapes. You can take it down and pull it out, enough out, all right, it's folded. And you can see that it does drape pretty well, um, but they'll all be different. You know, a different fabric uh, will be super drapey uh, and some might just kind of stick out and so that that would be important if you were looking for something specific.